Hey guys, this is JGH Reptiles. Uh, today I'm going to do a video on all my animals. Recently I just acquired some new animals and a new rack. Um, hope you enjoy. Bye now. Alright guys, for my first one, my first pickups, I have a Pac-Man frog. A bio Pac-Man frog. So cool. His name's Citrus. He has a little hide there. Um... I feed him every day. Um, he's really cool. Uh, now to the racks. I have. I'm not gonna take her out. Um. Yeah, these cages need to be cleaned. I have my uh, Max Snail. Oops, sorry. Max Snail Albino. Um, really pretty. She's a female. Come on, you gotta come out, come out. Yeah, these cages. They mess up the cages all the time. I just cleaned them two days ago. It's unbelievable. But, that's what do you have when you have animals? This is one of the pickups I pulled. Or got, sorry, not pulled. Um, it's a normal, to check. Okay, yep, whatever. I think this is the female. She's, yeah, this is definitely the female. This is one of the females I got. These are not the special the geckos. They're just ones I thought they were really cool. This is the male. I noticed the male. He's a beast. So cool. I just picked him up because of his pattern. I just think he has a unique pattern. In my opinion. Um, the next is the other female normal. She's really pretty too. Wow. Yeah, she's like, oh, yeah. You looking at me? <laughs> yeah, she's really pretty. This is my patternless female Lucus Lucustic, sorry. Her name is Barry. I don't know why. I just thought Barry was a cute name. Or the female. Yeah. Once they get up to breeding size, I'll show you where I'm going to put them next. This is Tangy. Uh, female Tangerine. I love this girl. Just look how she just sits in your hand. Just so nice. She's smiling. I'm really glad this is my that's a female there. Haven't given this guy a name yet. This is my male tangerine hypo. Come here. Or hypo tangerine on. He's gonna be bred to the tangerine, obviously. I love this guy. He's just so cool. Won't sit still, but very pretty animal. I just love leopard geckos. They're just so, so nice. Um, this, nope. Uh, this one. This was my brother's leopard gecko, um, but he's just a busy kid. Um, so he's he took the responsibility, saying, you know what, I can't take care of it. Um, I'm gonna give. It, he's gonna give it to me, and to take care of, and raise up. Just. Very nice little baby. She trust when I when he got her, she was probably about where's my finger? About oops, maybe that that big around. She's grown pretty much, or I can't say he or she because I don't even know the sex yet. It's too hard to tell. Um, now to the snakes. Here is my can can. Canyon Sandboa, Sandboa, my guy can't talk today. Um, you know what I mean? I put I, I put Aspen down, then I put like newspaper down, shredded newspaper. Um, God, I can't get a hold of him. Yeah, he's he's growing, um, eating. Uh, let's get a, there you go. Let's look at that color. 
don't think he's going to be ready for breeding for a while. I haven't found him a partner yet. I think he's just going to be more of a pet. He's just cool. He's a cool looking snake. I'm probably going to keep him as a pet. This is the devil, basically. I hate to say it, but it is. This is my Anry corn snake. Such an attitude. Like, I don't know what his problem is. Um, I try to handle him more. But, like, he doesn't bite. He just, I don't know if he'll do it, but he'll just shape, like, he'll, like, um, vibrate his tail. Like, that means, like, he's... Uh, it's defensive. I'm um, sorry, that's a lucky gecko. Um, but anyway, it's fine. You know what I mean? There's snakes. This um, is my... Was a female normal. That's what I thought she was. But I had a friend come over. And he said it's a male. Really upset from the person I bought it from. Uh, I'm not going to name names because I don't do that. Past is the past. But... You know what I mean? I'm just a little upset. He's only about, what was he? Last time I weighed him was three days ago. He's about 300. No, he's not even 300. He's like 200 something. Um, he's going to be moved when he hits three something to my bigger, to a bigger cage. This is my rainbow boa. Come on. Sorry about my hands in the way. Yeah, he's. This is a pretty guy. Um, I love that guy. Oh, I got oh yeah, and I got him from uh, BHB Reptiles, so I'll probably definitely get a female from them later. You know what I mean? Really cheap animals, but this is one of the pickups, one of the newest pickups I got. Um, this is Skittles. You'll see why. This is just a pretty animal. Um, I just love this animal. I really do. Um, just look at the pattern. Like, it's. Somebody told me. I put this on Facebook, and somebody told me it was a reverse Oka T or something like that. Um, but I, I still don't know. I've been trying to do a little research, go on the internet, types in corn snakes, morse, but. I can't find them, so if you guys are watching this video and you know this corn snake, uh, let me know. That would be great. Um, he's getting huge. I'm like, wow. He was, he, all, every, all the snakes were fed uh, yesterday. He's already on a uh, rat pup, so he takes him down. I think I showed you. I show you this guy? I don't know if I did, but that's not him. This is my uh, um, albino tramper. He's obviously going to get bred to the Max Snow, um, Max Snow Head Tramper, I think it's called. the guy said. I got I got that, uh, Max Snow Tramper, Head Tramper at a reptile show. Alright, so, oh, and then, before we go into the pickups, the cool pickups, um, this is just 100% hip hide, um, this I swear, like, I just have the worst luck. Um, this, I thought, was a male, um, but it's a female. And I did not want this as a female. I wanted it as a male. Um, but uh, it's just, when you go to these reptile shows, I swear, it's, oh, it bothers me. Um, it was at the Reading Expo, it was about three months ago. Um, I got it exactly when I lost my snake in the car. Um, so, you know what I mean, what are you gonna do? So, um, but she got, she got moved. She was in one of these, but, you know, I mean, it's not fair. She was getting a little cramped, and I'm like, you know what, it's time for her to, um, get into a bigger tub. Well, uh, I, obviously, you can see I did get a new rack, um, Sea Serpents, rack systems, great rack, recommend it to anybody. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail about them. That will be another video. Um, but uh, let's check out the other two pickups, shall we? Right here is my... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Stop it. Stop. Oh, okay. Dwarf 
retick, um, 66%. Um, I'll tell you, let you guys know where I got them from after I show you my other one. But yeah, I would pick them up, but as you can see, attitude. But you know, he was fine a couple days ago. I don't know what happened. Um, just the way maybe I came after him. But you know, he's he's a 2013. He's about two feet right now. Two feet, you know, somewhere around there. Beautiful snake. Great feeding response, by the way. They're awesome. This is my crown jewel. I was so excited to get her. Um, this is my female. So pick. Let me pick her up. Female Sunfire Retic. Oh, I'm just so happy I could get her. Just so pretty. Just look at the colors of these animals. Like, I my gosh. I just they're so pretty. Um. Look at her. Hello. She wants to say hi. You saying hi? Say hi to everybody. Say hi to the reptile community. There you go. So pretty. Um, I got these snakes from um, uh, shoot, Vital Exotics. Um, sorry, I jumped a little bit. Uh, still trying to get used to them. Uh, Vital Exotics from Chris. Thanks, Chris, so much. If you were going to watch this video, um, you really helped me out, and I really appreciate it. Uh, great guy to work with. I love the snakes. They're just so pretty. Um, Chris said I could keep these in here for a few months and they'll be fine. Um, in a few months, I'm going to order, I don't know, a vision cage or a volophile cage. Um, if you guys have either one, I would like you, or if you want, um, to tell me which one's better um, and which one you have. Because, um, you know I mean, they all look the same, but something has to be different about them. Um, so just let me know, comment below about that. And then over here... We have where I keep all my supplies. Everything like you got the calcium, or all the. Then I got the cricket calcium. Then I got my bulbs. I got a filter for the mealworms. Some twine, some heat um, rope. Another thing of heat rope. First aid kit. Don't ask. Um, some feeder tongs. Another extra water bowl. Two extra rubber bowls behind Eco Earth. Some leaves, um, some decoration, some gloves. This piece of crap. I won't do a review. It's not a review video, but please don't waste your money on this. It's a zoo med temperature thing. It's not accurate. My room is about 75, 73, somewhere around there, and it's showing it's 80 degrees. That's seven degrees makes a big difference. Um, anyway, I'm not doing a review on that. Uh, this is just some bedding for the snakes, some buckets, and some water, which I need to get a lot more of for the reptiles. Um, but this is the new reptile room. This used to be my room. Um, but, you know, I was like, you know what, Dad, I need to get into a bigger room um, for my animals. Um, cause let me tell you guys, I have some really cool things I'm going to be getting, um, not soon, like maybe in a month or two months, I'm really not sure yet, it all depends how everything is, um, how busy school is, stuff like that, um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be some really cool stuff, um, but, uh, yeah, this is the, this is the room, Tegu's still in there, um, I gotta put new, maybe put some light fixtures, excuse me, on there, um, stuff like that. Uh, I just got, literally, I just got done today moving everything around. So I wanted to make a video for you guys. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's great. But uh, my, my monitor, Jenna, she's doing great. Um, such a good girl. I just love this girl. Just say hi, Jenna. Hi, Jenna. It's so nice. Um, the blanket, she loves the blanket. Um, one day I was, this is pretty stupid, but I, I, I didn't fall asleep, but I, I 
At least I said I just fell asleep. Fell asleep. And I had my blanket on me. And she just came up and just, like, really sat on my lap. And so I'm like, you know, it means it me. You know what I mean? Am I a good person? But uh, it was the blanket. Like, she will not leave that blanket. She still got her heating source, everything like that. So don't worry about everything like that. Um, but... Uh, yeah, she definitely has her heating. Um, she's just obsessed with the blanket. Um, she doesn't bite at it. She doesn't try to <laughs> swallow it. Um, but uh, anyway, about the cage. I was been watching some people's videos on, um, you know, me on their monitor cages. And I'm like, I am the only idiot that has this freaking four foot cage tall, six feet wide. And I'm like... What is this? And so I go on, I just kept going to YouTube videos, and everybody's cage is like three feet tall or two feet tall. So I'm, my dad and I are gonna redesign this cage. I didn't tell him yet. He's not gonna be way too happy because this took us about three and a half hours. It doesn't look like it took three and a half hours, but trust me, it took three, it took three hours. Just two people. We had it. It was just. Let me tell you, it was just a. That's another story to get into. It was just a nightmare, though. Um, but we got done, but now we're going to have to redesign a new cage. Because, um, you know, I mean, I, want, I don't want to cram her. Um, but, you know, I mean, this is kind of huge. It's four feet tall, six feet wide. Um, I, you know, I mean, I, I want to put more stuff near her. I'm still going to be, like, you know, I'm still going to be about two feet tall, maybe two, three feet tall. Um, I want to put some really cool things in there. Um, but, uh, you know, I, mean, I want to look nice. This looks... I'm not trying to be rude. It looks trash. It really does. This is not... I should be embarrassed just to have this. Um, but, you know, I'm not complaining. I am complaining a little bit, but I'm very grateful that my dad even helped me. Um, most fathers out there willing to help people like um, your kids. So, um, not most, but, you know, me some. You know what I mean. But, you know, it still has a door so I can get in and out. Pretty, I did this myself. feel pretty accomplished. But, uh, yeah, this is just a tub for her just to, um, wait, this is, <laughs> I'm going to show this off. When you buy a snake from Chris, you get a, um, from Vito Exotics, you get this really nice calendar. Um, I had it hung up with the wall, but I thought it was a little inappropriate, you know, for some little kids, but who cares now? Uh, this is just a tub where I put Jenna after she takes her bath to, to dry off, um, she gets a bath every day. She, let me tell you, I never met something that loves water. She loves swimming because we have a really big um, bathtub. So I just put her in there and I don't leave her big, so that's stupid. I'll be in there for probably about an hour and like 10 minutes at least. And just, you know, I mean, watching her. Um, it's just not the funnest part of trying to take her out. Um, she doesn't bite, she just, man, that tail, it hurts. Um, but, you know what I mean, it is what it is. Once she gets back in her cage, she's fine. Um, well guys, I hate to cut this short, um, but, well it's not short, it's about 18 minutes, but, uh, thank you so much for watching my video, um, taking your time out of your day to watch my video, it really means a lot. Thank you for supporting me, um, just, uh, and thank you so much. Uh, just remember, please comment, um, subscribe and hit that like button, that would do so much for me. Help me so much. Um, remember, stay classy.